According to Kerry Child's voltage law, the sum of the voltages around a path is going to be equal to zero. And for this example, we're going to have let a positive sign equal the voltage drop. So for path X, for path W, we have this voltage drop, which is positive, so VA, plus this voltage drop, which is negative, so minus VB, plus this voltage drop, which is negative so minus VD plus this voltage drop which is positive so plus V1 plus this voltage drop which is positive so it's plus VC and the sum of these should equal to zero. Alright let's look at path X and for path X we have this voltage drop which is negative so negative VC plus this voltage drop which is also negative so minus VE plus this voltage drop which is positive so it's plus V4 and the sum of these should equal to zero now for path Y for path Y we have we have this voltage drop which is negative so, so it's it's positive so it's VE plus this voltage drop which is negative so minus V1 plus this voltage drop which is positive so plus VD VD plus this voltage drop which is negative so it's minus V2 plus this voltage drop which is positive so plus V4 and the sum of these should equal to zero now let's look at at our last path path C so for path Z we have this voltage drop which is a it has a positive voltage drop so V3 plus this voltage drop which is also positive so plus V4 plus this voltage drop which is also positive so plus VA plus this voltage drop which is negative so minus VB plus this voltage drop it's also negative so minus V2 and plus this voltage drop which is positive so which is negative so minus VG and the sums of these is going to be equal to zero.